All right, my lovers, how you doing? I'm with good old Matt. It's been a long time, isn't it, Matt? It is. Mm. I've missed you. <laughs> You've missed me or Mr. Thames? The Thames. Yeah, I'm quite <laughs> done. So we're out here mudlarking, looking for anything old and interesting. I found a broken snail, but that doesn't really count. Looking for anything much better than that. Older, I'm, interesting. I believe it. Uh, yeah. yeah, so let's get some luck in the muck. I can't believe it. It's Queen Victoria, how you doing, Mal? <laughs> Do you remember our mudlark, mate? It's been a while. <laughs> right, then. You, you just move um, loads of stuff around and you find it, yeah? it, yeah, and you, you missed a coin. <laughs> well, we'll never discount the back wall. It's like a little vulcanised rubber top. Oh, a little concentric circle one there. I'll take that. Oh, look here. I think I've got, I'm not sure that is one, but two little musket balls, look. Two there. Two little pistol shot. Everywhere we go. Oh, there's a big one. We find musket balls. Well, I've just turned this over and I've turned it back again because I want to reveal to you what a cool piece of pottery this is. You ready? Look at him. How nice is that? It's got little ruffles and everything. And a dashing moustache. I'm not sure where that would have been from. It, always, it feels like it should be a bit of mine. It's definitely got that look to it, but I've never seen one with a little man cartouche before. That's really cool. Lovely bit of pottery to start the lark. So, me and Matt are having a little tune wag about bits and bobs, and then behind him, I see a clay pipe bowl. This one? So, yeah, so I said, Matt, go and grab that clay pipe bowl or pick it up. Anyway, it's a nice enough little pipe bowl. There we go. And then right next to it is another one. It's even better. I can't believe Matt, you found one right next to the one that I found. Look at that, it's got a I've Scottish got a Scottish uh, thistle on it I think. We'll get close up in a sec. But yeah, it's a jaggy sod. Well there you go. Oh, King that's, last time, that's last time I put anything out to you. Yeah, you've got a Scottish thistle on one side and probably the English rose on the other. Oh yeah, it has as well. Oh, that's a cool find. Not bad. Well done, Matthew, for your excellent find. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt's had a little coin up in you, Matty. Little coin. Nice. No Chinese idea. one. Yeah. Very hard to date though, aren't they? But yeah. could be uh yeah, one of those uh, cash coins. Or um yeah, if anybody knows what that says, <laughs> leave a comment below. We'd love to know. Or Matt will be googling it with his Chinese keyboard out. I'm sure I'll no <laughs> doubt will. <laughs> oh well. What was it upwards? Yeah, it's a good find. Well guys, look, I was just having a little look around here and a little coin seems to be poking out, ready to be plucked. Oh, do you know what? Could this be an old coin? <gasps> oh, what is that? That's a, is that a Roman? Oh, hello. Oh, nice, if it is. Oh, that looks like a beauty. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to give it a quick clean up. Matt, what do you reckon? Oh, oh yeah, I see what you mean. Bit of a mystery one, isn't it? Ha <laughs> yeah, ha, exciting. Some, some Latin writing. Oldie, isn't it? It's an oldie. Yeah, yeah. I was concerned it might be a 20p for a second. Oh, that is good. You can see the, there's the star, there's the figure. Hey. Way it's been, um, Sweet! Yeah. Let's give it a quick wash. The tide's Good. giving me a little treat of water. Don't drop it. That is a beautiful coin. I don't know what it is. Never seen one like that before. It's a first for the channel and it's a first for me. Oh, lovely. Look at that. It's like it says angel or something around the side, or angle. 
Whoa, what a beauty. So with the help of our mate Cuffs, who we'll be meeting up with later, we discovered that this amazing coin does indeed read St. Paul. And it's a quattrino, minted at the Vatican under Pope Innocent X, and dates to 1644 to 1655. That's 10 years before the Great Fire of London. My mind is blown as to how he got here and what this coin has seen. The Thames anaerobic mud has kept it in cracking condition. You can see the papal tiara, the Pope's hat to me and you, overcrossed keys, and even the name of the man who was responsible for minting it, FG of Filippo Galliotti. And PMA means Pontifex Maximus Anno III, which is Latin for Supreme Pontiff. Pontiff meaning Pope, and the year three. And Pope Innocent X on the right, with the coat of arms in the centre. What a beautiful coin, and one I'll be recording with the Museum of London. Don't forget, if you want to try mudlarking, you need a permit from the PLA as a legal requirement. Well, I think I can see something brassy coloured just in there. I've got to think it could be a thimble. So it's brass, it's got that gold look about it, look. Just in there. Oh yeah, it's coming. Oh, look. Can you see it? Oh, come on. Oh, wow. That's a beauty. Oh man, it could be gold, you know. Look at the colour on that. That is shining like a beauty. Although, I don't think it's very old. I think it's only uh, Victorian. Might be, might go back a little bit further than that. Let's say Georgian. Um, I'm not an expert on thimbles, but um, I do like that one. <laughs> Don't come out like that very often. That's a lovely one. Let's make, let's make Matt jealous and go and tell him. Give it a quick, give it a quick wash first, make it look beautiful. Oh, I'm well happy with that. Hey, big man. Oh wow, that's really <laughs> nice isn't it? It's beautiful isn't it? That's beauty. Why do you reckon that would be? I'm going Georgian. Is it the, was it the beehive pattern or? Well no, beehives are medieval, no. post medieval but yeah it's machine made isn't it as opposed to made yeah. by hand. Nice but, though, it's lovely condition. I it? know, could be gold couldn't it? Yeah, that's <laughs> a beauty. Cheers dude. Well despite appearances it feels quite light but head torch is on. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, there's something a little bit round and leadified right there. Oh, that's quite nice. Decorated little mount or, yeah, I thought it was a trader's, lead trader's taken at first, but I think it's a little, little decorated mount of some kind. Little flowery motif. Yeah, it's cool. Well, Matt's broke his little duck. Wank, wank. Finally found a coin. Did you get a coin? Oh well, coins are coin. Oh, yeah, oh, you've got a little bit of a bust on there, have we? It's a George, yeah. Oh, I can't complain on a little George. Yeah. Yeah, you probably get a bit of detail out of that. Yeah. I think I can just see part see of the, the profile. Face. See, it's been like, it's been sitting in the mud for ages, isn't it? There, look. Yeah. Or the other way around. Oh, there we go. Well done. Yeah. And, uh, nice. It's very, very grotty. <laughs> Unassuming piece of uh, foreshore. Oh, that's all right. Never unassume the foreshore. Wow, it's a whopping great copper nail. Oh, I'll do something with that. Zzz, necklace, ring perhaps. I don't know, maybe I'll think of something. <laughs> nice little find. Pretty common, obviously. Copper nails are everywhere, but no, I don't usually get that big. Well, I've just uh, detected this. It might just be a piece of steel, but it's very unusual. It's very heavy. It's given off a good signal. I don't know if it's uh, I call it a bit if it's a meteorite or something. You know, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? But I don't know. I'm not an expert in this sort of thing. How do I test if it's a meteorite? Any ideas? I'm gonna cut it in half or something and see what it's like. 
not sure if I've got a tool that's heavy duty enough to do that, but I'll take it anyway, just because I've detected it and I want to know what it is. Uh, I thought there might be lead on top, but it's not. Ugh, maybe it's from another world, who knows. Yeah, so almost finished for the night, but Cuffs is out and he's just sent me a message showing me an amazing find. And hopefully we're going to go and meet up with him now and he's going to, he's going to show us and share what he's found. I can't wait to see it. Hello, right. Cuffs. How was your holiday? Yeah, great, mate. Yeah, <laughs> Ooh, very good. Yeah, probably more colour than us. So, saying that, can't yeah, tell when it's a bit light. dark, innit? <laughs> you had an amazing find, though, right? Yeah, I had a nice uh, Spanish silver pirate cob, and nice. a, pewter, a spoon bowl with a touch mark, and a thimble. Oh, cute bits. And you knew you'd go to the good spot. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that, ladder. You're in the good spot, left us in the semi good spot. Uh, there we go. Let's have a look then. There's a spoon bowl with a touch mark. Oh, nice. I wish mean, it was a complete one. That's pretty cool. Symbol. Which on the top? <laughs> it's almost like the same as yours, isn't it? It is similar. Actually, it's pretty much identical. That would have been an iron top, though, that one, uh, would it, probably? Yeah, probably. Uh, what's that, what era does that date to? Uh, the early 80s. Yeah. Right, let's see the uh, star find. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Ooh, man, look at that. Beautiful thing, isn't it? It's a beauty, man. Something on that side as well, a couple of letters, I think it is. It needs clean. Yeah, P something, I think. You reckon that's better than what you found? Oh, I don't know. Probably. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really a. I'm a. I, 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 Are they 18th I, century or? Uh, 17th. That's wicked, mate. Pretty cool. Pirate Cobb. Piece of eight. It's a real piece of eight, isn't it? Um, they're bigger. The pieces of eight. Oh, bit of silver though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wicked! You can see a bit of writing around the edge, can't you? Yeah. Beauty. Yeah, so man. easily just thought, yeah, you know, if you took that in mud, you think oh, it's a bit of, bit of a uh, scrap, and then leave it. Do you think you could ID that to like? A... Should be able to. Yeah. Should get the monarch out of it, hopefully. Oh, wicked. Yeah, I'll show you mine. If you show me yours, I'll show you mine. There's my thimble. Oh, a bit bigger. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty much identical, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they are, aren't they? What a nice pair. man's. Probably, yeah. Same age, or during that slightly yeah, pretty later? Much. Pretty much. You can age. see why yours might have gone, because it's like it was made in yeah, it three come pieces, off. isn't it? Oh, to be fair, yeah. Look, yours, you can see there. There's a little, a little line where it's made. So it may well have been a brass top. Yeah. Nice. Early 18th or 18th, you reckon? Oh, but I mean, it could be 17th. Oh, that's cool. I'm not sure if it's a lofting one. I don't think lofting ones had the. Um, I think I think they were cast in one piece. That's good. I thought it was later. I thought it was like Victorian, but not too far from where that was. What was this, baby? Oh, that was nice, isn't it? Is it buried, yeah? In the mud? No, it's just on the surface. Really? Yeah. Well, a bit I mean. Concrete, concretion, wasn't it? Yeah, it's like yeah. half in and half out. Feel free to give it a little bit of a spit and polish. You <laughs> see St Paul on one side. Yeah, innocent, innocent Pope Innocent V, uh, X, 10. Oh, my. Nice, mate. Sweet, yeah, I'm happy with that. I just like the detail. So that have been a, a Vatican issued coin then? Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose it's technically Vatican, isn't it? It's Italian yeah. and I don't know if there were separate states back then or not. It's beautifully designed, though, isn't it? Pope Innocent the Tenth. So, wh which one do you reckon is the more desirable coin cuffs? Not, not. I don't want a competition. That's the real one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm happy with mine either way. I mean, thousands then come off the shipwrecks. Yeah, that's true. But then, still, I've never found a pirate cob, so um, still on my wish list. Just detected this little spot here and come up with this, which is looks like it's a lead token with little concentric circles. At first, I thought it was a Celtic potion, but I don't think it is. But that's really yeah, cool. Wicked! This is a lead token and was used from medieval times up to the 1800s and used as small change by businesses when short change was in short supply. 
On the reverse, we can see the letters I and A, which was the vendor's initials. How cool is that? Well, I think this is a wicked little cloth seal. Yeah. And uh, it's got on there XXV11. One, no, 28. 16, 28 perhaps, maybe 17, 28. But look on that side, look, you've got a sort of dragon, mythical beast kind of guy. Really nice cloth seal. This would have been attached to the cloth. Showed the customers, customs has been paid. Tax has been paid, all that sort of nonsense. And it is the real deal. Some quality cloth. I reckon that's probably, that might even be sort of James, James the first era. That's a cracking one though. So I sent pictures of this beautiful cloth seal to my mate Stuart from bagseals.org and he told me that this one was unusual and unrecorded. He thinks it's possibly Dutch and the Roman numerals relate to the length of cloth that it was attached to. The reverse has a line and three birds below. A new one for Stu's records and one we can record with the portable antiquity scheme with the Museum of London. No matter how small the finds are, it's all adding to our nation's history. So this is good old Ed, artist and mudlark extraordinaire, and he's going to show me a really cool little find. What you got, mate? Hi, Si. Um, literally just found this, which is incredible. Oh, nice. It's um, Roman tessera, and it's three different colours. Wow. So it's white would have been hardened chalk, the red would have been probably broken tile, and the yellow, um, I can't actually remember because it's Oka so rare. or something. So there you go, that's a bit of that's, original that's Roman mosaic, and it's still got the backing. Oh, wow. And that that's would have awesome. been a lime mortar. Well done, mate. Cracking. You do love your Roman finds as well, don't you? That's your speciality. I, I find it occasionally. <laughs> nice one, mate. Superb. All right, well, it's got another little uh, surprise for me. What you got, man? Hi, Si. Um, <laughs> amazingly, Ooh it's a little flagon head. Nice. Um, and it's called a ring neck flagon because it's obviously got the rings. Oh, wicked. Um, possibly made either St Albans or possibly out in the Thames Estuary. So there wicked. you go. I found one of these before and I've recreated the rest of the pot. Oh, amazing. It's really hard because you do it, have to do it in the coil yeah, technique yeah. and the, and the uh, clay shrinks as you do it and it, it's really hard to hold its weight. But yeah, it'd have been a nice bulbous, go, nice bulbous uh, thing there. That's a great find, man. Really cool. Yeah, happy with that. Bet you are. They're quite common, but you rarely find them with the handles. Yeah. So that's quite nice. And so what, would it, has it got like a kind of white? Uh, it's got a white um, slip. What slip so on it'll it? probably yeah. be second century, so probably as a mm. guess, 160 AD. Nice. There you go. Drinks on you then, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Superb. Cheers, Ed. Wow, look at this. That is the top of a Roman vessel. Yeah. What would you say, like an amphora? Or yeah, amphora. Yeah, probably. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that, and it's in line around there. Beautiful. Handle. The rest of it has to be in there somewhere, Simon. Exactly. Well, let's probe and find out. <laughs> let's look. On the subject of Roman finds, let's go back a few months when Nick and I entertained Digger Dawn on the foreshore and I found a lovely Roman coin. Si finds has been shaking his arms around and coming rushing over, so I don't know what he's found. It's here, look, beautiful little Roman. Do you know what? I hardly ever find Roman <laughs> coins on the foreshore. Oh, he said. Digger Dawn and Chris. Have we brought you our coin yeah. luck? Yeah, I brought us a coin luck. Yeah. You know what, I detected it in a really hard, packy, horrible, nasty area, and I was thinking, well, 
it's as good as anywhere. Oh, that's a, isn't that fantastic. Oh, we'll drop it. <laughs> well, we'll never find it again. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Oh, well oh, done, Si. You're know, not Si finds now, you're Si found. <laughs> I found a Roman coin a couple of weeks ago. Did you? Um, oh, yeah, up, up, up further, further west. I never found one around here. This is just so, 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 so random. Oh, look at, look that. at that. It's brilliant. <laughs> just that little tiny piece poking out. Just that's all I could see. Just that, and then. Oh. You have to do the traditional. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, also, I've got a little present for you, Dawn. Have you? Yeah. Got me a little present. To... Well, you've heard, you may have heard of the Thames Garnets. Yeah. How mysterious they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, my friend Wendy yeah. takes the garnets that I find and makes me into some jewellery. Does she? Right, so what I've got for you now is a little pendant in the form of a little claw with a little garnet in it, silver. Oh. So you can add it to your little uh, collection. Oh, of your that's, oh, that's so lovely. a little Thames Garnet there in a little claw. Oh, that's, oh, right. yeah. oh, that's proper, really nice that. That's it, and uh, wow. yeah, Wendy makes all sorts of amazing pieces of uh, jewellery, so there we go. Nick's got some pipe earrings, uh, some, uh, some trowel, trowel earrings, earrings on sorry, today. that she's got with the same, yeah. same uh, artist. They've got a, a, they've oh, got a nice. Thank yeah. you very much. Oh, you're very welcome for that. Look <laughs> hey. at that, the rare shot of Dawn hugging. Don't forget, if you'd like the chance to win a gold pendant made from a chain that I found on the foreshore, then click the thumbnail at the end of the video on how to enter. But now for more night larking and even more spectacular foreshore finds. Well guys, we're just coming up my head torch because I want to blind you with the light. Um, <laughs> but I found a really cool little find in the hole, just been detecting and uh, yeah, come look at this. It could be a really cool find. It looks so good. It's white in the black stuff, so it's really well preserved. Let's have a look. Yeah, so here it is, look, just in there. I think it might be Roman. I think it might be Roman. Or is it? Or is it a George? Or is it a Carl's? Oh no, I think it, oh, what is it? I think it's a, uh, oh nice, Charles the first or Charles the second. Oh, that's a stunner. Can't see it very well at the moment because of the, uh, Little bit of crud on it. I might give it a little wash and see what's on the other side. It's gonna be Britannia. That's really nice. Uh, come on in. What you got? What secrets have you got? Whoa. Right. Well, that side isn't gonna come off very easily. But you can see on that side there. Look, a wonderful profile. I think that's Charles II. Little half penny. Look how clean that is. It's amazing what the uh, what the job of the Thames mud does to preserve these things. I like to actually smoke that a bit to sort of tint it back a bit because it's so bright. Lovely, wicked find. Yeah, really happy with this. As you can see, this side has got a load of crud on, so I'll put it through the electrolysis. Hopefully, there's some more detail on that side. But yeah, let's see if it cleans up. Stick around for the cleanup, or I might do it straight away. Exciting. I think uh, old Nemo, he's had a hard life. Well, 
this is pretty incredible guys I was just uh, having a little like, rummage around here and I thought I'll just see how far down the uh, sand goes and I just flipped over this I mean talk about luck or what this is a beautiful little Georgian cufflink with a little glass center in it and it's really apt actually that um, I found this tonight because I'm with Wendy and we're uh, going to pick up a few garnets hopefully that she can put into some beautiful jewelry that she makes and I know she'll love this could even might even gift it to her but I don't know oh do you know what it does look really special I don't know if that's just cracks in there or whether that's part of the pattern that's stunning though eh really really cool Wendy would love that maybe I should go and introduce you to the famous Wendy that's making lots of jewelry so she's she might be camera shy though so we'll see how it goes so everyone this is the mysterious wonderful Wendy as you now have become called because <laughs> you make some beautiful jewelry and uh, with the help of my garnets you've created some fantastic pieces so if you wanted to know what Wendy looks like this is Wendy say hello Wendy hello <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's a marvellous jeweler are you self-trained or did you have to did you have well, to take no, courses I, I took some courses yeah, yeah. Garden and oh, other places. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah so um yeah it's really good anything she sells um, um, a part of that goes to charity as well so if you do buy anything from wendy um it's going to local charities around um east london area as far as i remember yeah um wonderful. yeah so uh you know it's all good and um i've just i've just found something really cool which is right up wendy street so let's show her and see what she thinks and this is val as well say hello val Hello Val. Hello. <laughs> she's she's found some, she's found some really good finds as well. We'll chat to her in a little while. But first, this is what I've just found, and you can you, you ready for this? Yes. <gasps> oh, wow. oh wow! So it's a little Georgian cufflink, yeah. or actually, it is a cufflink. I'm trying to think, or a button perhaps. But um, yeah, it's uh, pewter, pewter surround, and I'm not sure, but it looks like it almost might have almost like an interesting pattern underneath the glass because I think they used to put foil or something mm. to help reflect the light um, at the very least they, they would have put like facets or something like that behind it but this one looks like it might have little circles so uh, Wendy what do you reckon about that? Oh, I think that's gorgeous well you, you can have it it's my present for you really? yeah of course you can there you go so there we go Thank gift to you much. and you can make something special out of it or, oh, or do will, whatever yeah. don't drop it will you no 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 I'm going to put it, <laughs> I'm going to put it somewhere very very safe there we go so we're that talking so like lovely. 300 year old little cufflink or button and I think he's going oh. to the right home so oh, that's lovely yeah. thank you oh you're very welcome thank it's you for nice you to give me that gold chain as well oh yeah <laughs> So uh, while, while, we, while Val's with us, would you mind sharing your lovely uh, find that you had? Obviously not where you found it, but what, the one you showed me earlier that oh, what, you yeah. ran around your neck. Now this is a really, really fantastic find, guys. It was, um, yeah, I, I've found a couple myself, but this one is, uh, is truly remarkable. Um, and uh, <laughs> there we go, look at that. There you go. I'm gonna zoom in on it so we get a nice profile. But, yeah, that's, oh, you can see it, look at that in the light. Oh, no, so tell us more it? about it then, Val. What do you know about it? Well, it was um, it was upside down, so you didn't see the face, which is uh, Apollo, I've been told. And I had no idea what it was. I leant over and thought, what is it? And I thought, it is something. It's a shape. Picked it up, turned it over and saw that wonderful face looking at me. It's fantastic. And then punched the air. And then, <laughs> and then like, <laughs> I was like, all these mudlarkers came from nowhere. And I said, oh, you've got to hand it in. And I went, yeah, well, you know, two. And then Stuart was further down there. Uh-huh. And he, the first thing he said was, 20 years. Said, oh, really? He'd looking and never found it. <laughs> no, I'm just, I felt rather apologetic. <laughs> said, well, I'm sorry, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so there it is. And it's, um... People have said, should I put it in a box or what mm. should I do with it? And I thought, well, it was made to be a piece of jewellery. Exactly. And you very kindly put it into this pendant. <laughs> well done, Wendy. And, um, and yeah. I just want to go back and say to whoever lost it, it's been found. Yes. You know, they so might know. Yeah, yeah yes. they'll know. Well, it's a lovely link to the past, isn't it? And it's nearly, yeah. you know, 1800s. Is it, is it second or third century or something it's like that? Second or second century. Yeah, second so, century. So um, it's, it's a Roman. My neck and if, I, if I lose it, that's part of its journey. Uh, yeah. I really feel I should. Hang on to it because it's oh, already yeah. been lost for such a long time. Well, Wendy has it's done a, 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 a marvellous job of setting it in a, a little pendant there. Yeah. And on the other side, there's um, yeah, a little the kind of like, the... like a sort of wave, sort of abstract kind of yeah, river like the... effect. Yeah. yeah, like the, the mud on the full shore. That's cracking, yeah. isn't it? That's what we like to see. Finds nice, being repurposed, loved and reused yeah. and uh, telling another that's... story. Yeah. Well done, Val. That's right. This is really cool. A nice little um, lead token. Yeah, can't see anything on it though, but I'll uh, clean it up later. And if we can see anything, I'll let you know. A little bit of small change from the uh, 17, 1800s. 
So I've given this post medieval token a nice little clean up, but I still can't work out what's on it. Can you? If you can see any shapes or figures or people or numbers or letters, leave it in the comments below. There we go, got a nice collection of garnets there, ready for Wendy to do her magic with. A few pins as well, so she wanted a couple of pins, so they got in the pot, the mixing pot. <laughs> Bit of a buckle down there as it goes, I'm just looking past you. See there? It's got any decoration on? No. But then there is a garnet right next to it, look. Just there, see? Just pluck it out, put it in the pot. There it is. Well, it's just come bounding up to me saying, look, look what I found. And it's, uh, well, you tell me, Ed. Yeah, it's me. actually um, quite rare to find complete. It's a bone hairpin. Wow. Um, and it's dated Roman times. That's incredible. So, incredibly handmade. Um, still amazing it's survived intact. It is. And again, you can just see it's been carefully worked to the top. Yeah. And it would have been in someone's hair. That's fantastic. Probably don't know, second, third century AD. That's awesome fire, man. Well yeah, done. quite nice. That's very nice. You found many of these before? Um, one or two, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but it's rare to find them complete. You usually find tiny little bits. Wicked. So. Look at that. Still sharp after all these years. Incredible to think that a Roman woman was wearing that, or child, or, or even possibly a man yeah. with a bun, a man bun. Yeah, just and you can see those little carvings around the top. So beautiful. I'll be reported to the museum. Yeah, well done. That's also awesome. fine. Well done. Superb. Well, Ed, as you may or may not know, is a wonderful artist. Uh, he's very um, modest with it. But if you want to go and check out his website, what's the website, Ed? Um, Instagram is the best port to call. Yeah. So it's just my name, Ed J Bucknell, um, and I post mudlarking finds and also my art. That's it. Yeah. Um, I just want you to see your there, Si. Oh yeah. Um, this one's interesting as well. It doesn't look like anything, but that's actually a mortarium oh, stamp. Oh, I can see that now. Yeah, um, that's fantastic. Mortarium. Um, it's like a W. Yeah. Or an M. So probably made Colchester or someone like that. Yeah. Um, and what's interesting about this is it was the mixing bowl from Roman times, hence mortarium, which is Latin for mixing bowl, apparently. Oh, right. Um, and it would have had grit on the inside and it would have been used for uh, grinding food. Yeah, corn and, and stuff. Preparation. Yeah. So there you go. That's it's lovely, very, man. very faint, but it is quite there. often it was gobbledygook because there were some of the Romans were illiterate. So yeah, it's like a, just, like just a, do patterns. It does look like a W and an A if you was to put um, if you was to put a thing on it. But yeah, you can really see that clearly. Oh mate, you're having a wonderful night. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Sweet as. So there you go. Good on, mate. River Thames. <laughs> well, here we go. Look at that for a horn. How cool is that? <laughs> the old cow. It's like a little calf. We got Ed. So I've just come across this, which is interesting. So this is actually part of a tegula Roman tile. Okay. But what's amazing is it's got the maker signature. So it was quite a common signature that was used. Uh -huh. And it was a swipe, a semicircular swipe or a single swipe oh, really? on the bottom of the tile. So there you go, that's almost complete. That's interesting, yeah. So it's almost so, like, you know, you were saying earlier about illiteracy. Yeah. Um, the guys who made the tiles, they yeah. just give a little, it's like a big sort of claw, doesn't it, almost? Like a moon or something. It does. That's awesome. There's a nice little semicircle. Yeah. There you go. Excellent. Good little facts. <laughs> well, this is pretty cool. Massive log splitter. Look at that. It's huge. I've seen some action in its day so heavy superb piece of steel there i might leave that for another day it's a bit heavy to be taken home pretty cool though if there was a maker's mark on it probably long gone i do like that hmm i think i'll leave it though oh a little um Squished cloth seal, I think, or maybe lead token. If 
there's anything inside it, I'll let you know, but not holding me hopes up. Bit of decoration there, so always hopeful. Well, this cloth seal unfolded and cleaned up really well. And I called upon Stuart again from bagseals.org and he told me that it's a cloth worker's personal seal, otherwise known as a privy mark and shows its validity. The initials IDI could be the name of the person who made that particular piece of cloth. Well, we have another little burr cloth seal here. Let's get the cloth, cloth for wash. A little uh, thing in the middle there. Actually, do you know, on this one is quite cool. You can still see the cloth where the, uh, the lead would have been impressed into it. That's really cool. 300 year old cloth there, the imprint of. So, um, there's something I've always wanted to find on the foreshore, being an animal lover and everything. And uh, that is a Roman or medieval roof tile with a paw print on. Yes, believe it or not, they did it as some sort of tradition, good luck thing or whatever it was, but I'm down here now, hopefully I can find one. Let's see if we can find one. Come on, let's do it. For positive thoughts. So the sort of thing we're looking for is this. Uh, this is a roof tile, which you've got a hole in to keep the, uh, keep the tile in place. But there's, in this particular spot, there's loads of them, all, that, all those red bits. So, just got to keep flipping them over until we can see one with a paw print on it. I've never really bothered looking for these in the past, just because I've always been doing other things, other looking for other other types of finds. But they do come up now and again, so fingers crossed we can find one, or one that's worn maybe. Oh, so much to search. There's got to be one here somewhere. Look at it all. Oh, that looks like good. That looks good. Oh no, that's human fingerprints. Yeah, look, human fingerprints. That's not what we're looking for. Still, I'll take that. That's pretty cool. Come on, where's the doggy? Where's the doggy? Come on in. Where's the doggy? over here. Oh, they look like claws, don't they? The little claws. Oh, is that one? No, oh, not, not convinced. Oh, what's that? Oh, could be, could be, not convinced again. All fingerprints. Back is killing me now. Could that be one? That could be one. There'll be one there, look. I think there might be one. Not the best example, but I think there is one. Yay! Oh, 
thought it was nice of you to learn a fireworks display, guys, but I don't think the find's that good. So here's that copper nail, just like a piece of sculpture in itself, doesn't it? Um, and I'm gonna make this into a pendant, I think. Drill a hole through there, put a loop, um, clean this up really well on the uh, bench binder uh, using the um, wire brush, and then so it's nice and shiny, and then add some garnets to it. So yeah, let's give it a go. Well, it's a bit uh, frosty out here today, and uh, just taking you outside to show you this. And Daisy's come to say hello. Is it cold on your pauses? Hey, yeah, eh? like that. <laughs> oh, not megged. <laughs> You've got bird flu in the UK, so you have to keep the chickens under cover at all times. Which makes for a nice playground for Daisy. A bit holes in it. Well, guys, I'm really happy with this, how it's turned out, and I'd love to share it with you. So, if you fancy owning this, head on over to my eBid page and have a cheeky bid. Good luck. Well, thanks for watching mud lovers and don't forget, you wanna watch this video to enter the gold giveaway. Good luck and I'll see you on the next mud venture.